What's up guys, I'm Crimson Wolf and welcome to Dragon Age Origins. This is my first ever LP on my channel. So I thank you very much for watching. This is an amazing game. It's literally my favorite game series of all time. I am doing this for multiple reasons. One, because I do love the series. Two, it is a great series to play. And three, I made a promise to my Bioware Amino followers that I will do a full let's play of the Dragon Age series. What that means is I'm going to be doing Dragon Age Origins, going on to Dragon Age 2, and Dragon Age Inquisition, and doing all of the DLCs in all of the games. So this is going to be a very huge let's play. Um, <laughs> and I'm very excited for it. I think this is a perfect game series to do an LP for. And I, I already just look forward to it, guys. So with that, let's get right into it. New game, and let's start the journey. And so is the Golden City blackened. With each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You are but sent to heaven and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dark. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay guys, well I am going to do the character creator and I will come back when I am done. Um, just a quick pro, just a little information. I am going to play a human noble warrior. That's going to be my origin. Um, I, but I'm going to do the character creator and I'll come back guys when I'm finished. 
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Okay, guys, so this is Alexander Kuzlin. I will introduce you to him formally as soon as we finish talking to Arhau. So, in you, Arhau. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Um, that seems interesting. Um, to what end? Ha! Ah. To what end, he says, and so glib. The boy's a whip like his father. See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my fierce boy anything these days, Maker, bless his heart. Ah, <laughs> temperament to match his fighting skill. Well done, your lordship. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Um, so we have to be respectful since our Hal is here. Um... Are you certain what's involved in such a task? Um, so you know we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yes, I'll do my best, Father. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. Yeah. There's also someone you must meet. Please show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Oh yes, we know all about the Grey Wardens. Um, uh, let's see what we're going to go with. You say they're an order of great warriors. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the Blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Let's see. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them, Father? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Let's see, of course. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Uh, let's see. Um, but I'm not done talking to you yet. We'll talk before I leave tomorrow. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Alright guys, so a quick few saves or a quick few things are going to come up. These are some mods I have on here, you're going to see here. Um, they're very useful. I personally love having them. 
Uh, I'm gonna activate this mod real quick. It lets me change my character's attributes and stuff as I want. And plus, I just can get it out the way. Um, let me see if it, what do I have in my inventory. All right, so yeah, a lot of my DLC stuff has come through. I wanted to make sure that's all here. Um, but what? Da, da, da. There is something that's missing. My golden goose is missing. I don't know why that's missing. Um, I'll get that fixed and put it on there later. Um, but for right now, uh, let's see. So here's Alexander Kuzin. His skin tone doesn't seem to be appearing as I wanted to, but that's fine. I'll fix it later. So let's talk to R. Hall real quick, guys. Yes. Let's see. Um, I trusted the day with your men is nothing serious. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. Let's see. You told my father that it was your fault. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. Let's see. Um... How long have you and father been friends? We fought together under King Merrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. Let's see. You knew King Merrick? Your father hasn't spoken of our time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's too bad Kalen isn't half that. Let's see, you don't think much of King Kalen, do you? How? I think of him as much as he thinks at all. That's enough, How. You speak of our king. Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow, I merely offered my opinion. Let's see. Um, I don't really think I want to ask him about his daughter. Um, I just want to wish you well, Arhal. I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. You do get to meet his daughter in one of the DLCs in Awakening, but I'll talk more about that when we get to it. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Guys... I love this mod. This mod is awesome. The fact that it gives them the Grey Warren armor from Dragon Age 2. I love this mod. And I'm glad I installed it for this Let's Play. Um, I was hoping to ask you a quick question or two. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Let's see. Um, how much danger are Fergus and my father in? Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight, and not simply some large, darkspawn raid? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves once we arrive at the King's camp. Let's see. Um, are you... Are there really dark spawn of south? We're not gonna accept that's a little obvious. Um, would you really recruit me into the Grey Wardens? Of course. You are young, skilled, and obviously responsible if your father is willing to turn his castle over to you. True. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody, and I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small. To risk animosity with Ferelden's nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. Let's see. Um, let's see, I'll leave you alone then. Until we speak again. Okay, um, I could talk to my father, but we're going to talk to him a little later, I suppose. So let's go. Okay, plot helpers, get off my screen. Right, this, this little guy wants to say, tell us something real quick. Greetings, my lord. You are the Terran's son, are you not? Yes, I am indeed Alexander. Good oh. evening, my lord. 
Whoops. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. Um, he's just gonna ask us, uh, can I talk to him again? I don't think so. Good evening, my lord. Yeah, whatever. He's just gonna say, oh, I hear you're, um, gonna be in charge of the castle. And he says it's kind of weirdy, so, you know, it's just a little suspicious. So, let's look around the castle, guys. This is the Chantry, and we see Mother Malal. Let's talk to her real quick. Maker. Prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Let's see. Um, I am Alexander is Andrasian, but he's not beat you over the hill with it. But yes, I would appreciate that, Mother Malal. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Make a watch over us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make her forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. All right. Uh, thank you, Malal. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. All right. Got a blessing from Malal. Let's t get these codex entries and get out your... Get out of my way. Yes. Ah, oh, jeez. This is a lot easier to play on PC. Because because in... On PS3 are the console versions. I don't remember you being able to see the codex things like this. So we're going to go around here. Who's in the evening, night? Though. That goes back to the room we were just in. That's locked. Um, Go this way. Because we're going to learn about a few things real quick, guys. I don't know why I'd stop. I'll just pause. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Um, taking a break. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. Um, did my father fear someone would steal something? I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Let's see. Let's see, who has a treasury key? The Tern, and perhaps the Tanner? Honestly, don't know, my lord. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Continue your game. Pretend I never came by. My lord is very kind to show us such lenience. Hey, I understand. Like y'all gone to, y'all gone to treasury that no only two people have the key to. I don't mind y'all taking a break. Like as long as y'all watching the door, and already, I mean, I really don't have a problem with it. So let's continue on. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. And is threatening to leave. Let's see. Um, did the dog get into the water again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Let's see. Uh, let's see, he knows better than to hurt anyone. Uh, then I guess I better collect him. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Let's see, to the kitchen. Um, first, if you, if you go ahead and have a little extra dialogue, do, you, do press something else. So, for instance, like, where is my mother exactly? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her. Perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? It is. Um... 
It is. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Let's see, he intends to test you for recruitment. We do want Sir Gilmore to do it as best as he can, so we're going to tell them the truth. Maker's breath, are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Yeah, quite all right. Quite all right. All right, so let's continue on. We got to go find our mother should be up there. Our Mabari hound. Pretty sure there's nothing in here. Huh. Oh, like this. Um, Nope, nothing in there. I'm pressing the tab button just to see if there's anything. Nothing. Can't go into that door over there. It's locked. So here we go. Let's go into the water and see what's up. I hear screams. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Let's see. Um, not gonna put my, down my bar. That's that's not gonna happen. Let's see. Perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. Um, I'm sorry he's bothering you, Nan. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Okay, just give you a little backstory on Alexander. He is not spoiled at all. He's trained. He wa he wants to uphold the Kuza name. He does not act like a brat. He literally wants to be the best he can at his fa at, and uphold his family name, basically. What are you doing? What you got, boy? Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Oh, uh, what? Okay, you're excited. I got that. Um, aren't you a smart boy? Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? What is it? Jimmy found on a whale. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? No, I completely... Hold up. So I'm going to name my dog Shadow because I love that name and that's what we're going to go with. Yep, yeah, yeah, Shadow. Uh, um, I completely forgot. I am a two-handed warrior, guys. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> I'm a dual wielder. Um, unfortunately, I don't have another sword. So I can't do what I'm supposed to here. That's a little unfortunate. Okay, I know combat. I don't know why that always comes up. All right, but yeah, I am a dual wielder. Unfortunately, I don't have both my swords. I have no idea. I, th I can't remember what voice I chose either. I just chose whatever one I, I found. These are some big rats, though. I mean, look at them. Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Let's see. Uh, so my hound put me in danger, great. It certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I need to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Alright, see you later, Sir Gilmore. Alright. So, there are giant rats. I mean, that's horribly horrible giant rats from the Kokara Wilds. And I'm thinking about it, the Kokara Wilds are like really far south. We are almost to the most northern part of Pharrell, and so the fact that they came all the way up here is ridiculous to me. Um, okay, we're gonna ask Shadow to clean this up a bit. Okay, calm down. Um, can you do something about this gory mess? I think he just licks you clean. Yeah, he just licks you clean. He doesn't eat the rats. He doesn't lick clean himself. He just licks you clean. What? The, he oh he cocks his head at you. Okay. Um. Do you see something interesting? What you got? Up. Oh, you didn't find anything. So. Okay. Well, never mind. You didn't find nothing. Okay. Let's get out of here. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Um, 
He's not so bad, man. Just a dog being a dog. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. All right. So if you can have a little extra dialogue with her real quick. So I'm going to... It's not really important, but I just want to show you everything that you can do. And plus, you know, talking to everybody is always kind of cool. So let's talk to Nan. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? Um, do you know blah? I need get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. Let's see. Busy day. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. And don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Um, when it's agreeable to me. Um, I'd be boring when it's convenient. Of course, you know, I'm not getting into any trouble like killing rats or anything. Good. I'm not exactly privy to your goings on now that you're grown. Just an old nanny, never invited to your father's fancy meetings. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit. Let's see. I'll make not that. Um, I remember it. Good. Then you can start. Let's see. Um, so basically this is pretty, it's a pretty simple story. Just think it through. Um, and no, it does not start, upon, start with once upon a time. That's crappy. Um, before our father's father came down from the mountains... A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. Let's see. Uh, Hahaku grew prideful. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? Let's see. Strong or not, he chose a more reliable dog. When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called. But the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. Let's see. Eh, yeah. that was a mistake, obviously. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Let's see. Uh, old nurses tell boring stories. That's obviously... Let's see, don't abuse your power, the weak will let you down. Um, don't abuse your power, is the first thing I come. Exactly. Hahaku took advantage of a position he thought he was entitled to. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? Let's see. Thank you for the story, it was thoughtful of you. It's a story worth repeating, that's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. Alright, so yeah. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. I need to get me a second sword, because I need... 
my dagger. I mean my two-handed warrior. All right, so we're going to go up here and meet our mother and Lady Elena, I think. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled. Let's see. Um. Yes, Mother Nan is back to work as we speak. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Uh, let's see. Of course, it's good to see you again, my lady. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Guys, let's appreciate the mods here. Everybody looks beautiful. <laughs> like, um, if you don't remember Lady Yana, Leandra, her hair was like really messy um, in the original version, in the vanilla version. And now it's very nice, it's very t tidy. Um, the clothes are a lot better. It's just a beautiful thing when you put mods in these games. Um, so, yeah, uh, you're being modest. You fought very well. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Let's see. Um, You're aware that, I, that we're at war. Perhaps we should, I'm not going to say that in front of everybody. Um, I will say this. I can handle my own affairs. Thank you. But before I say that, again, look at the clothes, guys. Look at how Leandra looks. Look at how her mother looks. These outfits are beautiful for them, and it fits the uh, aesthetics of this game. So, I can handle my own affairs. Thank you. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Okay, before talking to our mother again, we're actually going to go talk to um, two people. Because I'm not going to talk to one of them. Um, before I talk to them, let me pick up these books. Because these are codex. There's a reason I didn't come in here before. It's because you, I did the uh, Iona and... I can't remember the guy's name. I just heard his name. I can't remember it. But they come in here. And I just wanted to do all this in one go. Right, and come back and forth. So let's talk to Aldous. Aldous? Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. <laughs> uh, still the same task, Mascarasi. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Um. Uh, certainly, I have nothing else to do. Wonderful. Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? All right, so. Um. When was our line founded? Records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tians during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Um, so I have my cunning up a little bit. Um, during the Lycanthrope Plagues. Good. I'm pleased some of my lessons seem to have stuck. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Ah. Um. So we predate the. Wait. We predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. You're being very rude. Um. Hmm. I'm doing the best I can. It seems you've already plumbed the depths of your potential, then. A pity. Rude. At any rate, 
Your family has held the Tyrnir of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Let's see. Um, we oppose the king. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanad's army reached High Ever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalan had won. Um, and Kalan had let us keep the Tyrannir. Kalan had wished to unite Ferold and not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. I kind of wish they would let you see that um, boulder, but I have no idea if they do. Um, tell us about the relationship between us and our Hal. The history between the Kuslans and the Hows reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Let's see. Okay, so if you want to know about the Orlesian occupation, I suggest you read the uh, Stone and Throne guys. It kind of goes into there, but go on. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Also, I realized I was very big on what I just said. Um, the Stone of Throne is a Dragon Age novel. It predates what happens in Origins. I would suggest if you haven't played these games, read that book first. Or if you want to see if you like the games, play the game first. But then go back and read the book. It gives you a good, better depth on what happens in this story. Um, as was our right, the house of vassals. Unfortunate, but we couldn't lose Harper's Ford. Correct. That caused a rift between the two families, as you might imagine. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Let's see. Time to end the lesson, I think. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself. Okay. Well, thank you for the lesson, Gandalf. Always good, Albert Stumbador. Okay. Oh, there's a book. Um, you can talk to him, but he goes on and on about some stuff I don't really care to. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. Hmm. Greetings once again, my lord. Let's see. Let's see. Um, good evening. Farewell, my lord. Wait, oh, crap. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Did not mean to say goodbye. Um, so basically, I'm talking to her because Greetings once again, my lord. Because you can romance her. Um, so let's just get right into it. You are very pretty, if I might say so. My lord is very kind. Thank you. Let's see. I haven't seen many elven ladies in waiting. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, your mother has no ladies in waiting herself. Is that usual for a noble woman of her rank? Um. If she found a maid like you, I would, I might can encourage her. You are very kind, my lord. I'm nobody special. You make me blush. I see. Um, how'd you come to know Lady Landra? My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. Let's see. You have a daughter. Forgive me, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Um, no, it's alright. Uh, tell me about her. Her name is Amethine. 
Her father died of a wasting sickness two years ago. Let's see. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. He's with the Maker now. Let's see. I bet she has your beautiful eyes. Um. You don't hope more for your daughter. I have risen very high for my people. I would not tempt fate by wishing more. Let's see. Uh, sounds like Lady Landra has been good to you. Lady Landra is good to her elven servants. That is not true in many households, but I hear it is in yours. It speaks well of your father to show such compassion. Well, go look at how Nashri and the servants are there and then tell me. Let's see, I think we should get to know each other better. Aren't we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Um, something more intimate later on in my room, perhaps. I, I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lord? Stop calling me my lord, though. So please call me Alexander. Until tonight, then. So yeah, you can do... Um, just so you know, you can do Iona, or you can do um, Darren. Uh, I believe it doesn't matter. I think they... I think you can go guy... Girl can romance him, guy can romance him, and same for Iona. Guy or girl can rom romance her as well. Um, so that's just optional. You don't have to. It's not really necessary. I just do it because it's fun. So let's talk to um, our mother real quick. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Let's see. Um, do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I like how my armor blocks my mother's face. Um, so no one's around. So we're gonna ask, why can't I go with? Father and Fergus. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. Right. You understand that, don't you? I do. Uh, yes, I understand. Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. Uh. Did you know there's a great warden here? Or you know what? Let's let's say I have a bad feeling about all this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight the Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. Okay. Alright, I understand. Did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Um... Well, we don't really know. Um... But the Darkspawn have returned. Great Warrens are needed. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. Okay, okay. Let's see, are you sent at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Let's see. Let's see, as you wish. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. No, I'm good. All right, well, I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Let's see. I love you too, mother. Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. All right, let's go find Fergus. Okay, he should be up ahead. So guys, I'm going to probably end the video right after this. I know it was just mostly dialogue, but this was just to what to dip our feet into the game. Um, remember to like and share the video, please, and subscribe. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Let's see. Um. Just let me know when you two are finished. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. <laughs> uh. Let's see. I prefer my freedom, thank you. One day you'll meet someone who can handle you. Mark my words. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, 
I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Let's see. I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Yeah. Uh, do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Let's see. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? No. Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? I really wish they bring or griffins back in one of the games. Um, he says he's recruiting. Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. Foreshadowing. Let's see. Well, with all that said, I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to behead. So little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Let's see. Uh, Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Let's see. Uh, you don't need protecting more than her. Mother can handle herself. Always has. It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to talk to my family real quick. So let's talk to Orin. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? Let's see. Don't call me Uncle. <laughs> no, um, yes, that's true, Orin. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Orin. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil, too. Take that, dire bunny! All dark spawn! Fear my sword of truthiness! Oh, okay. Um, what we're going to have to work on your vocabulary, because that's horrible. Um, till you meet a dragon, you're gonna get eaten. So, but yeah, you bet. Let's at least teach you how to use a sword, so let's go. Fergus, there are times your family causes me great pain. Now, now, mind your mother, Oren. Get to do anything. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. Okay, I don't think she says anything. You should need any assistance in the coming days. I would be glad to offer it. Pretty sure your mother doesn't say anything. Let's do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. And we have to talk to Fergus. Getting sent to bed early, are we? Uh, let's see. Um, I'd rather be going with you. I'd rather that too. May it be fun fighting side by side. Maybe next time. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone and be here when I get back. I will. Why did they send me all the way back here? I need to talk to my father. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Let's see. 
about this Grey Warden. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? Um. Uh, and if he did? If he did, then I would have to consider it. If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Of course. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. Let's see. Um, is sending all of our forces south a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems, but I want you to prepare the men left here, in case. Let's see. So are you sure you'll be all right? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. All right, I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to end the video. I want to thank you very much for watching and, and coming to watch my very first video on my channel. Again, hit that like button, subscribe to see more. I will continue doing this LP. I look forward to continuing it with you guys. So please, please like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time on Dragon Age Origins. Mm -hmm.